The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hi there, friends. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. For the most part, it's very quiet outside. We have a couple of little sprinkles and or a light shower towards eastern and western parts of Halifax County. Outside of that, as we exp expand the picture just a little bit for you, you'll notice that we are really looking to the west because that's where our weather is coming from. High pressure is out to the west. Our fair weather friend, that's where it's residing right now, and it's going to be in charge of our weather here as we head into the weekend, really as we head into the early part of the next work week. So we got some really nice days ahead. Head. We'll tell you though, we are eyeing and watching closely a coastal low situated offshore of North Carolina, certainly bringing some showers towards the outer banks. These showers are going to stay to the east of us. Now, future cast shows us that uh, we're going to have the clouds moving out tonight. The clouds that are around are in association with a little disturbance moving from the north to the south, but the clouds are going to dissipate tonight. And on Thursday, it's going to be a brighter day for everybody. Okay, Thursday is going to be a partly to mostly sunny day for all of us across southwest central and south side Virginia. Thursday night skies are fair and then Friday is going to be a day where we start off with bright blue skies and we end the day with bright blue skies. All compliments of that guy right there. There, that H, high pressure. When you get high pressure, you get sinking air. When you have sinking air, you generally speaking get dry air and sunshine. Now, for us, it's cool outside, but to the west, that's where it's hot, okay? If you go from the U.S. Canada border, south towards Salt Lake City and Denver. It's actually very, very hot with some areas about 20 to 25 degrees above average. So it's hot out west, out to the east. It's cool and really for the next few days, this blast of cool air is going to stick around. We're going to start to warm things up as we go into the weekend and by next week, temperatures are going to be well into the 70s once again. But areas uh, in blue could see uh, anywhere from 15 to 20 degree below average temperatures. OK, so again, it is certainly quite cool all across the eastern seaboard, extending all the way south, believe it or not into Florida. Lower 40s right now in Hot Springs, also in Withville. As you go east, it's a little milder. 57 Danville, 56 South Boston, and 55 in Lynchburg. As we go zone by zone for Thursday, highs in the NRV, 56, 59 in Covington, Clifton Forge, and Lexington. Cooler northbound on 220. 61 a popular number tomorrow in Roanoke, Lynchburg, and in Southside. Your low tonight is 35. Going to have again that freeze warning in the mountains, that frost advisory further to the east. It is going to be cold. 35 again, your low tonight's so bundle up and take good care of yourself and bring those pets inside. 61 tomorrow, mainly sunny, still cool. And in that seven day forecast, we do start to crank up the heat a wee bit. 68 on Friday, lower 70s Saturday, middle 70s Sunday through Wednesday. So while there'll be some cool air and some hot air in the forecast, one thing that is lacking, the chance for rain. The next seven days all look dry.